members of Congress, the First Lady of the United States, And my fellow Americans, we meet tonight at a moment of unlimited We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. This is our submission for uh, Mr. Smith's uh, perfect soda experiment. Uh, here we have black cherry IV um, spit juice. So that's what it tastes like. And we're going to boil it. How do you do this? You just open it. Here, <laughs> 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 okay, we're going to get a view over here. Okay, now we're going to turn the oven on. Or the oven. Hi. Alright. Okay. Now we wait. As you can see, it's boiling. <laughs> Going. So here we have the equation to model the heat exchange of our water. We use the equation Q equals MC delta T. So your Q is your heat, your M is your mass, your C is the heat capacity of water, and obviously your delta T. So you have 360 grams of water times 4.186 joules per gram times the starting temperature of 15 degrees Celsius subtracted from 100 degrees Celsius per gram, which ends up getting 128,092 joules. Three and four. Four? Are you going? Yes. Should we do four? Yes. Okay. We should do four. <laughs> we should do four. We decided on four before we... Yes, we just this is doing it. We decided on four way early. Yeah. You just can't tell. I have a bad memory. Yeah. Okay. Now we have three mugs. Wait, is this going to break the Four ice cubes in each. Oh, never mind. Will it? Actually, will it? We'll, we'll find see. out. Let's just pour it on the ice cubes. <laughs> Turns out it doesn't break the ceramic. This is very precise, as you can tell. Yum. Oh look, there's not anything on the bottom. What? It's not disgusting. Okay, let's eat. Okay. Now we're going to drink. Uh, we should we wait something? till the ice? Let's see. This is 30, this is 29, this is 26. Okay. I think that's safe, right? It's safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, it's just above room temperature. Mm. <laughs> it tastes like water. It tastes like sugar water. Yes, it tastes like sugar water. And, and it is at a preferable temperature. Yeah. It's kind of fun because it's like warm and then there will be cold spots. Oh yeah, but <laughs> I would definitely agree with that. It leads to an, it's an adventure. That's what it is. It's an adventure. <sighs> you jump off on an adventure. I don't think it's actually that bad. It's, I think it's it's better than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I think because we boiled most of the flavoring and I guess all of the carbonation away. I have, I have orange, vanilla, Coca Cola out in my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you actually bring soda? I mean, well, I I messed up a quick fix. So. Oh. I have that and pink lemonade. Yeah. Let's just boil more why, soda for why, fun. Why am I still drinking? <laughs> this is I for think science. Mine tastes like water. <laughs> yeah, mine just tastes like like slightly sweetened water. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Perfect. The perfect temperature. The perfect temperature. The perfect temperature. 
So uh, that has been our presentation, and we thank you for tuning in. And Alex is also here because we need proof that Thanks he's here. Thanks for the homie Alex for videotaping. So the cooling R soda is modeled by the same equation, but instead we subtract out the delta T for 27 degrees Celsius, which is our ending point in 100 degrees Celsius, with our starting point of the boiling water, which gets us to negative 110,000 joules. And so to find the total heat exchange of the process, we add the two heat together and we get about 18,000 joules.